So welcome to another podcast. My name is Nathaniel Davids. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of any new videos and podcasts or whatever it is that I put up on my channel. Um, like, comment, share below. Um, I love the interaction and you guys giving feedback. So please do do that. Today we're talking, if it's not in the title already, um, my conspiracy theory when it comes to Netflix. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like Netflix is obviously this massive streaming fl- platform um and I, I like disseminating things i like knowing why it is successful i like I, I like i love granular detail so i'm sitting back and i'm part of this wave obviously i think about a year ago i got netflix and i'm part of this wave and and i downloaded the app got it on my playstation and i'm just watching series after series i suddenly start doing this thing that everybody does which is binging but i take a step back and i start realizing what exactly am i binging what am, what exactly am i watching what exactly am i feeding my my conscious my subconscious and i start looking at the themes and i start slowly bit by bit connecting the dots and the series that made me really realize that something is up here is 13 reasons at the time 13 reasons i think it was last year last year august probably 13 reasons drop uh my facts might be wrong i don't know when it dropped 13 reasons drops and 13 reasons drop and everybody's talking about it the natural advertising goes in behind it and i watch episode one and i'm like fuck this is about someone that committed suicide this is bullying but essentially suicide and murder is the main theme here and i remember watching i think it was four three episodes deep and i was like nope mm -mm, can't do this shit I, I don't feel good. I don't feel good after watching that. I couldn't. Psychologically, it fucked with me. Which is which is a massive notification to to my whole body and, and, and my spirit and my soul. Because something told me, yo dude, whatever it is that you're feeding us and forcing us to watch and eat, right now it's not working with us. No, we don't want to do this. No, we don't like this. And that's when I started asking why. Why do I feel this way? What's going on? This is Netflix. This is entertainment. It's just a, a mere series. There's no harm in this, right? Right? So that's when I started backtracking and I was like, okay, cool. What have I been watching? Because I feel like there's a common theme here. And that's when my little conspiracy theory started. It gave birth at that point in time. It became pregnant. Um, and I started looking at everything because of the after every episode that I watch that has that is a massive hit when it comes to Netflix, I feel the same way, which is melancholy. Super melancholy. Very passive, don't want to do anything, and sad. So the Urban Dictionary's definition of melancholy, and I, I just want you to hear this. Um, so it says to be melancholy is a brand of sadness that is overthought, prolonged, and can be caused by any reason regardless of its magnitude. It is very personal, heavy weighing, sad. It's a very personal and heavy weighing sadness. It is similar. It has similar characteristics with depression. However, melancholy is a insidious sadness. Um, so you see where I'm getting at, right? So that's melancholy. So I start realizing that I'm feeling this way after 90% of all the Netflix documentaries and series that I'm watching. Making of a murderer is what I watched and I felt melancholic. Um, Stranger Things. Uh, you might be sitting there saying, what? Stranger Things? What's wrong with Stranger Things? I'm going to give you a description, short little um, description of each of these uh, series for those who haven't watched it. But for those who have watched it, trust me, the dots are going to start connecting. So these are all the things that I've watched. Uh, I watched You for like two episodes. And You is a series. It's a... Um, American psychological thriller television series developed by blah 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 and blah 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 um, and basically it's set on the story where this New York bookstore manager who falls in love with a customer named um, whatever her name is uh, quickly become and he be- then becomes very obsessed to the point where he then finds this girl has a boyfriend or a play toy and then 
keeps him and murders him and then it's just this and it plays out the whole social media part of it stalking basically he's a massive crate basically he's a stalker um with a very sadistic murderous side to him he is a murderer right i don't know did he murder that person i just knew it was dark so i watch you two episodes in and i'm like nope I feel melancholic. I don't like this. I go further back. Stranger Things. If you've never heard about Stranger Things, Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror web television series created by blah, 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 blah. Again, the theme right there, horror. Is there death in the Stranger Things? Yes. Death is a major theme in Stranger Things. Cool. Let's move on. 13 Reasons Why. The one that I just told you about. So... The series um, revolves around 17-year-old high school student Clay and his deceased friend Hannah Baker, who has killed herself after having to face the culture of gossip, sexual assault at her high school, and lack of support from her friends. Aha, uh-huh, this is series number three, right? Are you tying the dots? Ooh, my favorite, Lucifer. <laughs> I don't even know if I have to explain. It's quite self-explanatory. Lucifer is also a series on Netflix which revolves around Lucifer, Morningstar, the devil who abandons hell for Los Angeles, blah, 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 blah. Again, what is the theme there? I mean, it's the fucking devil. It's a series about the devil, right? OJ Simpson trial was on Netflix. Uh, That whole with Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, I forgot what it was called. Was it called the OJ story or true OJ story? Point is... The OG story was, guess what, about murder. So you tell me, a great large majority of people, um, well, not a large majority, those who have Netflix, a large majority of them, watch these series just before they go to sleep. Some binge of that shit until late at night. This content, this theme, is the last thing they have on their mind. The theme across all these things is thriller, murder, horror, all things that, all themes that are very distinct in terms of how they make you feel. And it links back to that state that your, I feel that your mind unconsciously goes into, which is melancholic, which is passive. I mean, if we break down the whole idea of Netflix and chill, chill is a passive state. Chill is what... If you think about it like a government would want you to do, which is be passive. Let us rule you, but don't fight back. Chill is basically, if you think about it nicely, it's the equivalent to holding someone down by the neck. And you know how the cops, when they, um, you know, when they arrest someone or attack someone or there's any kind of uh, assault, they have that, their whole forearm is just squashed with all the pressure against this person on the floor against their face holding them down and they keep on saying chill relax relax trying to assert their authority over this person and they want this person to be passive they want this person to be weak they want this person not to fight back this links back into the whole um theory of people or you know there's certain conspiracy theorists that believe that when we get our vaccinations as babies there's a drug that is within the vaccination itself that naturally activates a chemical which makes human beings passive to any kind of authority so that at a later stage as it grows within you as an adult you don't revolt there will be short little bursts of revolting but the mass majority is passive right same thing with foods there's a conspiracy theory about um gmos and again they feed the the cows and all these livestock that we end up eating they feed them a specific thing it's injected in the seeds are injected genetically modified and there's a chemical again the whole result the essential result of all of this is to be passive but it's in our foods the you know mass produced foods It's in the takeaways that we eat. There's something that said, if anything is in a box, know that it's wrong in terms of food. So you look at the the different areas in which this theme of passive 
aka Netflix and chilling takes place and I mean I mean with with Netflix it's just so blatantly distinctful like it's blatant that murder is a theme dark sadistic themes um, and narratives uh, stories around that is a theme making of a murder 13 reasons why you all of these things leave you feeling uh, like some fucked up way so i just thought i'd bring it up maybe it's just me maybe it's just me maybe it's just nathaniel in his mind that is going through all these things but i just feel like if you weren't too conscious of it and you weren't like like you only connecting the dots after listening to this then maybe just maybe you feel the same way and if that is the case, then we must be a lot more attentive and careful of what we watch before we go to sleep and what we feeding our subconscious with. Never mind the, the conscious, what we feeding our subconscious with. I mean, would you sleep with the kitchen dirty knowing that cockroaches are going to come and eat a whole bunch of shit that you didn't put away? Would you not clean everything knowing that you can sleep knowing that the kitchen is clean, right? It's kind of like the same thing with these, these themes, these, these genres. If murder is the last thing on your mind and you naturally feel some weird pull towards it, you got to sit back and question why the fuck you feel like you ke- like keep wanting to watch more of this shit. And remember th- what the description of melancholy is. Um, geez, let me go back. But it said that you don't know why you feel the way you do. You just do feel it. You can't really kind of place a reason why you feel melancholic and that's the essence of it um and again we i feel like netflix it's 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 nearly as if these people know exactly what the fuck they're doing they know that a large majority majority of people human beings right now due to technology phones whatsapp all these social media platforms a large majority of them at a in the four corners of their minds, in the four corners of their rooms, are depressed. Depression is a thing. Mental health is a thing. And a lot of the things around mental health and depression is just spoken about. Like it's a fun little thing to talk about on a radio show. But the act of like practicing um, things that prevent you from being in that state is... Fuck, Jesus you can rather run around for rewards and get kawaii discounts there's more attention on that than there is actively doing things and encouraging people the masses to do something about their depressive states there's 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 nothing being done about depressive states nothing like the the act of like making it like aware on on a mass scale like doing actually like doing something no that's not being spoken about fuck no you well it's spoken about but is there actual action behind it no fuck no just go watch a netflix documentary and be more passive don't worry we're gonna give you another episode where you can be even more passive oh you don't want to wait oh don't worry we'll give you 13 episodes and you can watch it all at once and then we'll leave you like salivating for like a dog will leave you salivating for more and we're going to give you another passive uh, melancholic horror murder series and then you just and it's just this constant fucking cycle why do you think they're pumping out so many fucking videos and series and films and documentaries ironically around the same fucking thing murder depression sadness darkness do they want to keep us in a fucking state and if so, why? Let me know whether you feel the same way. Am I the only one that feels this way? Have you felt this way as well? Or is it just me? Like, comment, share, comment. Did I say comment already? Yeah, I kind of repeated myself. Like, comment, share in the description. Um, not the description, in the video below. Let me know what you think. I don't know. It's just my mind running wild. Anyways. Do remember to subscribe to the channel and um, I'll catch you on the flip side, man. This has been a fun little session where I've been able to advertise something that's genuinely been on my mind and I'd love to hear your opinion on it. My name is Daniel Davids. Peace, love and happiness. Light upon your life. I'm out.